what does good look like from a policy perspective in this new paradigm, given the pushing on the string phenomenon we're currently experiencing? Yeah, well, I would say that there's a lot of risks in this environment policy-wise because there's a wide range of possible policy outcomes, and there's also a lot of opportunity. So if you're talking about what we think good would look like is corporations aren't borrowing very much, uh, particularly not to affect the real economy, the government can step in and, and do that and provide a balancing to the economy that, as we've described, central banks are going to be are going to struggle to do. So we'd like to see good policy be a movement towards MP3, where fiscal policy is more coordinated with monetary policy and, um, and operates in that way. And very low inflation rates and generally reasonably stable currencies provide this incredible opportunity to do more and more fiscal. And we think naturally, while it might take a long time, like monetary policy, you're going to see trial and error lead in this direction. So monetary policy shifted where now they've learned from mistake after mistake, don't diet and don't try to normalize interest rates, just keep interest rates low. There's a lot of major dis disinflationary pressures that, that allow them to keep interest rates low despite being late in the economic cycle. Over time, I think they're going to discover, just like if you take in the U.S., 2017, you have a big blot in the U.S. budget deficit, and there's no cost to it in the sense of you don't get inflation, you don't get a tightening of significance, that the more policymakers see that, the more they're likely to push the fiscal lever in the right direction. Now, the extreme, the problem with that is eventually you push that, and eventually you push it to the extreme, and you get inflation, and all of a sudden your policy options are much more limited. Um, but that likely direction over this decade is to experiment with fiscal policy the way monetary policy has been pushed. And the more they do that in the short term, the more you can use that fuel to help resolve some of the problems in society, the wealth divide, potentially the climate issues and those things. And so good policy, we think, would be taking advantage of the opportunity that very low inflation, um, very low private sector credit going into investment be utilized by government policy to do things that will enhance long-term productivity and ease the conflict.